everybody. Uh, it's the last talk this afternoon. I would like to introduce you uh, smart implants for orthopedic surgery. It's a project um, who um, deals with um, prosthesis, and I will show you uh, a little bit what are the general objectives. Uh, then, uh, what are the consortium and the tasks? Uh, what is the international state of the art in this research topic? Then I will show you uh, results and also uh, the next steps. Uh, you know, perhaps that's a healthy knee. I hope everybody has healthy knees. If you make too much sports or if uh, you are um, overweight or if you have overweight, then of course you can have eroded uh, cartilage, it's here, and then you have pain and then uh, what we call arthritic. And then uh, if the pain gets too much, you need to go to surgery and to implant um, prosthesis. And um, actually what we want to do is that people with prosthesis would like to have um, better life quality. Um, I think the most important is that we can provide in vivo parameters for uh, the clinicians and also for the prosthesis uh, designers, uh, especially what they uh, like to know are uh, the force mapping, um, if it's correct balanced, uh, to, to also to pro provide adequate um, rehabilitation how much force you can uh, have on your legs. And then also, uh, I think with all this knowledge, we can uh, do hopefully better prosthesis. Then of course, the whole uh, cinematic you need to know. Um, for instance, um, the movement limitation where you have, when, when you have this kind of uh, problems, of course you have pain and then you have to know why and uh, where is the pain. And also, what is today a problem are these micro vibrating um, uh, problems where you can have uh, uh, also loosening of the, um, of the prosthesis uh, because it's, it's really um, a today problem. Uh, it's um, a multidisciplinary team. Uh, there are five EPFL labs at the University Hospital in Lausanne and uh, Symbios. It's, um, prosthesis manufacturer in Yverdon. Um, we focus really on the functional demonstrator that we can, at the end of the project, implant uh, to make really a, a real surgery. Uh, we have, of course, uh, to integrate and to test and uh, also to manage the whole project in a way that we converge uh, with all the sub-projects. Uh, it's quite easy, it's not very spectacular. You, from the outside you have just this knee protector. And if you look more in the inside, then you have here the prosthesis. Uh, what do you need? You need, of course, from inside the communication to the outside. You need the implantation techniques, you need uh, the packaging and integration of everything. You need inside these force and motion sensors and, of course, also uh, the electronics interface uh, for all uh, the measurements what you would like to do. Um, internationally, uh, there are mainly uh, three um, labs in uh, Germany, also Berlin, in uh, San Diego and in Italy. They do uh, mainly force and moment uh, um, studies with uh, the, the prosthesis, but uh, there is, uh, at our knowledge, no cinematic studies and also um, mainly the missing clinic thematic to see where is the pain coming from and all this kind of stuff and that we would like to do. The architecture of such a um, demonstrator, what we are currently building, is uh, not very complex, but uh, it needs uh, um, a quite uh, a heavy integration. You have the sensors, that means magnetometers, accelerometers, and um, 
force uh, sensors, there are um, strain gauge sensors, then of course you have an analog front end where you uh, put the signal into uh, um, an, ampli an amplificate amplificators and then uh, you go in uh, to uh, the digital world with AD converters and uh, you are uh, dealing with microcontrollers uh, also interfaces that you can program and uh, especially what is quite uh, unique is also that you have to power from the uh, external side you cannot just put um, a power source uh, inside the knee that's not possible uh, and um, of course then you need the communication um, and uh, remote powering uh, actually we are dealing with a small um, simulator and we, we can uh, do the necessary test everything every, all this electronics has to be uh, packed here in this uh, polyethylene part of the prothesis the remote powering is somewhat tricky um, we have here the, the prothesis a little bit bigger you see the external coil um, here in, in um, the external coil here uh, uh, outside in the knee protector it's here the reader antenna and then of course you have the um, coil inside the insert and uh, you have to be careful <coughs> you have to make a careful design that you are not distributed by uh, the or you have too much influence by the metallic parts that means you have here the reader then you have all this power management and um, uh, for instance this is um, quite important to, to design it correctly for the force sensor, we use uh, mainly uh, micro machine strain gauges who are um, very thin uh, and flexible and they are built in here between the two joints. Uh, it's also important that we can measure a whole map that is our array sensors and with the proper signal processing that we can really make a map where, are the, force, where the forces are and if the forces are well balanced uh, in the prothesis. Uh, what are the next milestones? Uh, we have uh, really to improve our uh, large-scale demonstrator. We have to equip every, uh, um, every sensor, what, what is really necessary also to, to measure this um, RA um, mapping and then uh, really to go to uh, ASIC and to integrate more uh, our electronics and then uh, to develop also the whole um, uh, power schemes and um, to, to improve what we have now and uh, set up the uh, knee simulator. I think uh, we are well on the way for um, integrating all the, the sub-projects in one uh, bigger picture and uh, we hope that we can um, have quite soon a new technology demonstration. Thank you.